Hello everybody. It is Chris Damnation. Um, if you watch my YouTube, you know who I am. Welcome to episode one of Gothic Music Theory. Um hopefully I'll be able to do a whole series of this. Um and um by Gothic Music Theory I mean taking a song analyzing that song and finding a dark deeper meaning behind it and sorry I thought I heard something so this first episode is about the song beautiful dreamer um I don't know if you've all heard about the song beautiful dreamer but it was, um, I think it was, I think the first release was in the 1800s, and I'm going to just, um, I'm just going to bring up the lyrics real fast. Um, yes, it was, it was an ancient, a uh, song from the 1800s. Um, sorry if it looks like I'm not very focused, um, I just need to find the lyrics real fast. Alright. I have had this theory about Beautiful Dreamer for a very, very long time. And that theory, if you believe in this sort of thing, that theory is that the song Beautiful Dreamer is not just a sweet lullaby or a love song. I feel like it's something much darker than that. Um, obviously, vampiric lore has been around since pretty much the beginning of time. There have been um, mythos about vampires or vampire-like creatures since the beginning of time. If you look far enough in history, in all different cultures, they have some sort of creature that, um, that resembles a vampire or our idea of one. So, um, I'm going to read you the lyrics to this song, and then I'm going to discuss why I'm talking about vampires so much. So let me bring up these lyrics and read them to you. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight and dewdrops are awaiting thee. Sound of the rude world heard in the day. Led by the moonlight have all passed away. Okay, I'm stopping right there. What does that sound like? What time do most normal people wake up? In the morning. He's saying, um, he's saying that basically she's waking up at night. Um, beautiful dreamer, um, queen of my song, list while I woo thee with soft melody. Gone are, um, Gone are the cares of life's busy throng. Beautiful dreamer, awake unto me. Beautiful dreamer, awake unto me. Is it just me, or does that sound a little vampire-y? Um, he's basically saying, you don't have to worry about the busy day anymore. Um, that's not your life anymore. Let me continue. Um... Um, beautiful dreamer out on the sea, m mermaids are chanting the wild, um, laurely over the stream, over the streamlet, vapors are born, waiting to fade at the bright coming morn. So basically he's talking about how beautiful the night is. And how the night is going to be her life from now on. And that it's not 
really a bad thing. It's just she needs to embrace the night. Um, beautiful dreamer, beam on my heart. Um, I as I mourn thee on the stream light and sea, then um, will all the clouds of sorrow de depart, beautiful dreamer, awake unto me. So basically, it sounds like a guy singing about someone who has passed away. Um, there's there's actually several different versions of this song. Unfortunately, this is the one that I could find. Um, it was um, this one's the Roy Orbison version, but I'm going to try and bring up the original. Um, original lyrics. Um, sorry, since this is my first episode of this series, I'm a little unorganized. Okay. So, I don't know how much different the lyrics are in the original, but... Oh, uh, they're, they're actually pretty much the same, but, yeah, I think, I think, um, a lot of people just look at this about this, um, this man who lost a loved one and is, and is just mourning her death. But the reason I choose to, or I believe that it's darker, it has like a more vampiric meaning, is because he's like, he keeps talking about the night. You know, he says, um, oh, in the original it says, Beautiful dreamer, awake unto me, starlight and dewdrops are waiting for thee. Sounds of the rude world heard in the day, lulled by the moonlight, have all passed away. So, 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 in, in lore, or in like, most vampire lore, vampires, they come out at night. They have to avoid the daytime. And I believe that this is about, um, a male vampire who, um, turned his loved one and is now saying, it's okay to wake up now, it's night time, it's beautiful, it's gonna, you're, it's gonna take some adjusting, but this is your time to shine, baby. So, um, so yeah. I might be crazy, I might be way, way, way overthinking this song because, as I said, it was written in the 1800s and, you know, like, I don't know, not, like, monsters, we've always, we've always, monsters have always, like, been popular, but they weren't as popular as they are now, they weren't like a pop culture type thing back then, you know, like monsters used to be something that you were literally like legitimately afraid of, and now they're more seen as, um, as just, okay, whatever, monsters. Um, so I may just be way, way, way overthinking it, but if you really like listen to the lyrics it to me it just sounds it sounds like um a man who's like singing about um his girlfriend turning into a vampire and basically saying okay time to get up now um so i can show you the night so yeah thank you for watching my new video I'm going to try and make more in this series. This is just episode one. 
So, see you guys in my next video. Bye!